Hi, Philip and, and others. Um, I think I've finally got this figured out. At first I thought maybe you wanted the desk over here, but I think it's over here where you want the desk. And, <clears throat> of course, like a lot of things in Chief, there's more than one way to do it. And what you've done here is fine. It's just It just leaves some collateral damage, you might say. So what I would do is I'd take this cabinet, click on it, and I'm going to, okay, I'm not used to millimeters and stuff, but uh, we'll handle it as it is. So you got the height at 730 millimeters. <clears throat> and uh, floor to bottom is set to zero. I'm going to put that to, uh, let's see, I just have to play with this. I want to see a bottom hand. Oh, there it is. I'm going to grab this bottom handle on the uh, cabinet and just pull the bottom up. For discs, that's how you normally do that. See how that cleans that up? Now, of course, that caved in the sides and so forth, but we're not done. We'll open that resulting cabinet there. And I'm going to go to the front tab. And see, I clicked there. There's no item there. We'll put a, uh, whoa. I'm going to add a space then. I want to add a, a blank area. Okay, well, let me add a blank blank area. I'll but try to add something else. Uh, false drawer, that's fine. Or a drawer, even better. And um, I have no idea what the height's supposed to be in millimeters. I'm just going to put a height there. Okay, it's a little, you probably have a, a pencil drawer of some kind. Now, <clears throat> another thing I noticed about this, I'm going to whip, whip it around the, the other way. You see the way you did the cabinet, it sticks, it sticks through the wall, which is not totally ideal. So, see how it sticks to the wall here? I'm just going to grab the back of it and pull it back so it's not pu punching through the walls. I'm using a control key. Okay, <clears throat> I'll go back to the camera view, and it's probably still holding the countertop. Well, how do you handle that, this and this? That's with a custom countertop. Um, go back to plan view. I'm hitting control tab and go back to plan view. Now I'll go to the select objects, and, uh, yeah, okay. I'm going to click on, it uh, doesn't matter which cabinet, I'll click on this one here and go to the uh, custom cabinet, generate custom countertop. And see now it's a polyline which I can stretch around. I'll pull that to the corner, use uh, my break line tool, and line it up with the existing automatic countertop. I'm lining my cursor up over here, you see. Okay, put a break there, and then it'll look better if you just make it one countertop. Trust me on that. Pull that out. Yeah, that's better. <coughs> Go over here and just make it one countertop. I just found from experience that just a little, get, get you a, a smoother, better product. If you're going to use a countertop, then just go all the way. Now, I've got to put the angle back on. I'm not even being totally careful here in terms of make everything perfect, but I'm just demonstrating. If this is my own job, I would certainly take greater care and get everything perfectly exact. All right, I'm going to take this angle here and <clears throat> use the parallel perpendicular tool to the front of the cabinet seat. And that's close enough. It's not an inch and a half, but it's fairly close. Let's see what that looks like. Voila. That's a nicer looking in product. And this is the only thing you ask about. So, uh, like, I think uh, with this uh, molding polyline here, uh, I'd probably at least let, right, raise it to the ceiling. See what the uh, height is here. Finished ceiling is 2715. And if I go over here and look at 
the moldings tab. Uh, see what that's set to. Yeah, I see that they don't match. It was what twenty one seventeen. When I went, yeah. Let me check that again. Get it twenty four forty, and the ceiling height in here is. Oh, I see twenty seven fifteen. We'll get that figure there. Copy it. And go to the moldings tab and bump um, bump the second one up. That looked a little bit better, but maybe you intended that, but it was sticking through the uh, bookcase, and I thought it looked kind of funny. So that's about all the junk I can pontificate on here. Uh, I think that handles should handle your question. I'll uh, format this and upload it to uh, YouTube, and then we can both live happily, happily ever after. Thank you.